what's happening. I wish, uh, I wish I could explain how how hard it is to see what the truth is. Everybody around you, all your friends, your all your family, and uh, everyone you ever met doesn't look at you the same anymore. They're in love with the lie. They're in love with the lie so much they refuse to look at the truth. And what is sending this truth. What is, really, what is? There's a lot of people that just don't get it. They don't put two and two together. What I mean is, you got people all over the world that suddenly started seeing the truth. All over the world. All at the same time. Then you have people like me that went for 35, 40 years, 38 years, whatever. Um, living a lie and not not aware of it and then the truth is revealed to us it's not like we're smart and just oh after 40 years of life I just finally figured out that the world's flat this is in Isaiah in the Bible showed it to us from the beginning. Why do you think biblical cosmology is something you can choose to believe or not believe and then somehow you feel that you also believe in the Son of God? Really what uh, Really, what is the... Sorry. What, what is believing in something? Uh, can't make up my mind. What is believing something? If I, if I said... Uh, I said I believe the Bible. I believe the Bible. I believe in Jesus. But I don't believe that BS story at the beginning of that thing. <laughs> it's all one story. Which brings us to salvation, which has been a hot topic. Now, why would why would uh, Jesus the word made flesh why would he um, cleanse you from unrighteousness why would he want to do that what did he say believe in me in you. He said he's not going to accuse us to the Father. We already have an accuser, even Moses. He wrote of me. That's what Jesus said. He wrote of Jesus. If you don't believe Moses' writings, how are you going to believe Jesus' words? If he 
tells us heavenly things or earthly things and we believe him not, how are we going to believe him if he tells us heavenly things? It's like hypocritical. You can't choose. You can't choose your truth, is what I mean. I didn't get to choose it. I grew up in a world that was a sphere. My whole life. And I knew it. Well, I didn't really, but um, that's what it was. And uh, what happened to me? I guess what I'm saying is I can use myself as the example. I'm a good example. A great example, to be honest. I threw my life away for this truth. Chucked it. And everybody around me helped. I mean, the, all my family, it's just ridiculous, but it's just the way it is. They, uh, I don't, I've only talked to a couple people in my whole family about flattering. I mean, like my aunts and uncles and everything. Nobody will talk to me about it. They just don't want to talk about it. One of my uncles, I he thought I was going to be trying to show him something about Flat Earth, and I wasn't. I was trying to show him something about Revelation. He's like, I'm not interested. I'm not, I don't want to see it. I know what you're going to do. I know what you're getting at. No, you don't. You don't have a clue. If you knew what I was getting at, start studying but um, it's interesting to watch people just throw you out of their life and like you're worthless like you really do not exist anymore that's really what it feels like and I mean I'm not I'm not trying to get a pity party I'm saying that this is real you guys my family rejects me because I believe the earth is flat, okay? Sorry, there's construction all over. Um, yeah. You know what that's called? That's called hating the truth. Here's a great example. I'm going down right now. I'm going to Florida. I'm driving to Florida right now. I'm in like Kentucky or something. I'm in Kentucky. Um, for me, there's some, something that bothers me. My younger brother lives in Jacksonville. And I won't even be seeing him. I won't even be stopping there. I want to be talking to him. Why is that? Well, let's let's just put this into perspective. You know, I got a lot of friends on Facebook, right? A lot of heathens, a lot of Christians, a lot of everybody. Muslims and everything you can imagine. And because of that, my brother said that I was a risk to him and to other people in my family. And then he even tried to somehow make it so it was my fault that he got scammed on the internet because I have Facebook friends that he doesn't know or that are from another country or that are from they're brown. You know, let me tell you something. It was over a year ago that I said to my family, to my mom and my brother specifically, I said, I want to come and visit because I'm not working like I have been. I'm just, I'm stopping at it. I'm not going to do that anymore. I want to come and visit and try to talk to you about this. I haven't seen my mom much at all. I mean, she's... When I was 18, she moved out to California, and I've never been out there. I mean, and, yeah, it's a 
crappy situation, but um, I've seen her like twice since then, like 20 years. Her, well, three times maybe, I don't know. Whatever it is, I told her I wanted to come out and visit, drive out there or whatever. Nah, I don't want you to. So, what I'm getting at, I'm not trying to make you feel bad for me because it's not, that's, I feel bad for them. Because I'm, I'm separating myself out from the world. And, well, I'm not separating myself out. Wait a minute, let me, re, let me reword that. God is gathering his children. Here's a, let's put it in perspective again. Okay, anybody that knows me knows I'm a pretty level-headed guy. Um, I'm not violent. I'm not troubled by these types of things. But, um, oh, this is a cool road. I'm like going straight down a hill, kind of. So here's the deal. <laughs> what does my younger brother say to me? He's like, and I'm not kidding at all. He asked me, he said, have you thought about hurting yourself or hurting others? I'm not kidding. <laughs> dominion keeping people from seeing the truth but it's being manifest to everyone to all nations tongues peoples and kings or whatever so here let's do this let's pray for all the people that have rejected this truth when it's been, you know, brought to their attention. Traffic, look out, we got brakes, semis, sorry. Okay, so what I'm getting at is the, the truth that people can't see is the most important truth uh, ever. I mean, it's important for salvation, it's important for eternal life. It's important to avoid the wrath of God being poured out on you. I mean, it's it isn't a joke. It is not a joke. Wow, this semi is really slowing it down for us here. Okay, so anyway, yeah, so that's a little disappointing going to Florida and my nephews and brother and his wife, yeah, they don't even know I'm going to Florida, whatever. Whatever. I can't do anything about it. I had to block him on Facebook. He's, he's like, I'm going to get you some help. <laughs> I don't need help, man. But, yeah. 
So anyway, that's my story that I'd share. Peace out.